hello friends welcome back good morning to all today i'm going to sharing a dream country jobs i hope all of candidates have a dream to go us and have a get a job in us so this is a american requirements it uh, latest requirements you have to apply within the limited times so please keep watching this video i will share with you the positions and everything details so you can apply if your profession if your experience is matched with these positions then you can apply as soon as possible so let's start you can see here program officer institute of reproductive health united states i already told you it's a american requirements so position is program officer position descriptions what is the position description you can see here organizational overview so they mentions they provide some information about the organizations so you have to focus on this you can see here the institute of reproductive health six and program officer irh is dedicated to improving the sexual and reproductive health of women men and you throw a research practice agenda our emphasis is on increasing access to and use a family planning increasing fertility awareness through life stage of set interventions expanding access to fertility awareness based family planning methods in an informed choice context so as you are interested in the to get a job in americans you have to gain the knowledge about the organizations and this is the introduction and information about the organizations so let's come to another point position summary here they mention what is the positions as a program officer will support effective implementation of an initiative to build evidence and changing social norms to support Im improve health outcomes the initiative seeks to have an understanding of theory measurement and scale of uh, social norms in interventions as well as related initiatives to address needs of men and boys across the life cycle the po to will have strong skills and experience in developing participatory workshops workshop facilitations and organizations capacity building literature review and qualitative research the program officer to will lead manage and coordinate projects related to research dimensional and utilization including for example review and synthesis of evidence development of products to share evidence and learning with donors research programs implementers and others the program officer will be people to gather for learning evidence building capacity building and sharing of research programs so as you see here it's a high professional and high qualified jobs so please focus on this information this is very very important positions you can see here they mention exactly what is the position summary what is the job responsibilities and if you get this jobs what will be your work functions they mention so my suggest these all information i already provided in the descriptions go to the descriptions and read it carefully before you apply for these jobs so let's come to another point i am describing you very shortly because i fail describe everything then the video will be long so i am describing you shortly my suggest go to the descriptions and collect this information and read it carefully so let's come to another points period of performance that means contract full time one year with possibility of renewal that means it's a one year contract jobs according to your performance according to your the situations they will renewal your jobs essential duties of positions this is also a vital positions what is the responsibilities and what is the duties as a program officer they mention point wise you have to read it carefully point number one organize lead and facilitate interactive in persons and virtual capacity building workshops and presentations which donors program staff researchers and others to build skills and knowledge and relevant topical areas and share learning from project and research activities so this is a as you see here very high qualified and high experience job so my suggest as a program officer if you have internal experience and high qualified then it's better for you so as a fresher it's not possible for you so my suggest as a experience holder you can apply for these jobs point number 2 develop and provide technical input in development of qualitative research protocols including 
literature review and case studies to understand program implementations, best practice and cross sector and cross project learnings. Point number three, implement case studies, literature review and other research activities including documentation of learnings, conducting interviews, analysis of data and report writing. So this all informations, this you have to read it carefully point by point. This is the essential work functions as a program officers. Next come to another points, other functions. What is the other functions as a program officer? Point number one, supervise program assistant, IRS staff, interns, consultants and others to ensure quality and timeliness of work. Organize project study meeting and events, terms, regular donor meetings, technical expert. Support new business development initiatives as needed. Represent IRS at meetings and events. So this is all about your work functions as a program officer. Then position qualifications. This is very very important. If you want to apply for this job, so what should you have the qualification and experience? Point number one, master's degree in international development, social science, public health and related field. This is the qualification required to apply for these jobs. Experience, what is the experience required? Minimum five to seven years of experience backstopping or managing international development programs, preferably USA, ID or foundation support projects. I already told you in before that it's a very high professional and experience holders jobs. So if you want to apply for these jobs, you should have to minimum to five to seven year experience needed and master degree in the international development needed. Point number two, you can see three to five years of experience developing and leading research utilization effort, including capacity building, workshops, trainings, webinars, technical meetings presentations and scientific conferences so these all about the experience and education qualification required to apply for these jobs and also they mention for the special skills you should have to apply for these jobs you can see here point number one excellent written and verbal communication skills in english including the ability to convey complex concepts in a clear and concise way and to help stakeholders and act the information. Fluency in French desired but not necessary. Knowledge of donor rules and regulations with particular emphasis of foundations, USID of other US agencies. Demonstrated ability to respond to changing situations in a flexibility manner in order to meeting current needs. Expertise preparing through well written and own size documents, summarizes and reports. Sensitivity to cultural differences and understanding of the political and ethical issues in certain areas. So you should have the special skills for applying these jobs. So next come to another point. Now this is very very important. If you have that required qualifications, required experience, so then you can apply as soon as possible. So what is the applying process? You can see here. The position is hired by Development International LLC on behalf of George Town University's Institute of the Reproductive Health. Development International is an equal opportunity between the action employer. So, if you want to apply for these jobs, please email, resume, and cover letter. You know what is cover letter and resume. I, in my previous videos, I already shared with you many times. Still, if you don't know, if you don't have any idea what is cover letter, then being a professional and being uh, very, very activate to your mind and go so search in Google Inbox that how to make a cover letter. And I don't think so. If you are uh, really a professional to apply for these positions, uh, that uh, you don't have any idea about cover letter. <coughs> I'm sure you know what is cover letter and resume. So you have to send an email in this email ID. I already mentioned this is the applying process. The organization never sharing anything, any official websites and official numbers. They only provide an official email ID to apply for these jobs with the subject line program officer. When you send your mail with cover letter and uh, resume you have to mention in 
subject that program officer to please specify where you find the job advertiser no phone calls please so they did not mention any official website and phone calls you have to apply only by the email id this is the only one process so my suggest first of all you go to the descriptions read it carefully what is the organizations what is the positions what is the job responsibilities what is the qualification required what is the experience required what is the skills you should have to apply for these jobs then finally you comes to apply so this is the applying process so so many times i am getting confusion comments and how to apply please apply for me it's not possible if you are really <coughs> really what you want a job in abroad you have to apply for these jobs by yourselves so here the positions the qualifications the requirements to apply for these jobs and the applying process everything details in front of you don't be confused read it carefully in the descriptions all the informations there and apply as soon as possible by the sending your cv and cover letter to this email id so finally i would like to tell you many many thanks for your valuable time for watching this video up to end and in the next video i will share with you the latest requirements from other countries so stay blessed bye bye thank you